When he's not a university professor in his native Saskatchewan, Dr. Alec Koros is touring the country, speaking to students and parents about the dangers of the internet, especially social media. Coral says the parents that were at the Bishop Carter Auditorium on Monday night were pretty internet literate. I think these parents, you know, really did show that they were they were into some of the uh, a lot of the apps, and I think a lot of this comes by not only use, you know, just taking on some of the tools, whether it's in your workplace or whether it's just out of um, social behavior, but certainly talking to your kids is the big thing. Um, getting a sense of you know what they're on, and you know how they might include you in those conversations. So I've been very lucky. I still have my oldest is uh, only 13, so I'm very fortunate that she still includes me in all of her networks. Down the road, it might be a bit different, but ultimately, I think that play, the being able to, um, like there was a there was a parent here just a, a few minutes ago that said, you know, that she sees her 20 year old on Facebook and. Uh, and she's very proud of what he posts. It's inspirational, it's good, it's kind. But there's no doubt that her being a friend on him, on his profile on Facebook, does influence that. But what about the dark side of social media? A dark side that has led to many suicides, many highly publicized suicides. There, there are incredibly tragic stories. Uh, Rutea Parsons, Amanda Todd, uh, others who have uh, really, you know, brought, dragged, down, dragged down with uh, uh, tales of the internet, but there's also, in some cases, there, there, there are other predicaments around, you know, uh, c c complicating issues around mental health, um, parenting in, in some particular issues, not necessarily those cases, but, you know, when you, when you look at um, the vast complexity of childhood, the internet is a big influence, but there's a lot of other things around human nature that also um, pay, a, um, pay a high price in a lot of these things. So when we, th when we think about the internet, it's not just the internet and the tools that will um, lead us into the dark places. It's looking at our very basic human nature and understanding us you know, better as a society and as individuals. And what you say on the internet often forever stays on the internet. And I think that's one of the biggest things. If, if there's one thing that I even remember from the very early internet from the 1990s, think before you post is still a really good advice um, that everything can be permanent. Even if it's Snapchat, if it's meant to disappear, we know that that's not the case. Everything is permanent. If it's digital, it's in one way or another permanent. And although his tongue may have been in cheek, Koros did warn the audience time and time again that he might be scaring them but he hopes they understand why he's telling them what he's telling them. And I am, I'm, I'm, and if I did scare people, that's that's certainly not what I meant. Um, I think information and knowledge certainly is power, and being able to to understand a little bit more, uh, it shouldn't scare us. Sure, there are there are scary things out there, but by us knowing a little bit more about these things, they become less scary.